Good morning, guys. Today is Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. So this is Denise. You guys know that. Um, with Life Journey Ministries, where we are the hands and feet of Christ. So guess what guys the Lord gave me a little golden nugget this morning and so of course I'm sharing it with you guys um, so this morning like I do most mornings I gathered all my things and I brought them all out to the car and I looked and I was like hmm, phone didn't connect I must have left the phone in the house like I do a lot and so I dig through that bottomless abyss that my children call it my purse looking for my house keys and of course they were not in there they were actually in the little center console thing and so i grab the keys right and i go in the house and i get the phone and i'm coming back out less than a minute and as i come back out i was acutely aware that i left the sliding glass doors open in the house i left the door to the actual house open and i left my car unlocked unlocked running with the keys in it with my purse and all of my personal belongings in it and the Lord spoke to me he said so many Christians so many of my people this is why they're being attacked on it seems like every side and it's because you jump and you run because you're focused on one thing that really is not that important in the grand scheme of everything else that you just left wide open and vulnerable for attack so a lot of times we think the enemy is attacking us because that's just what he does however we've left places in our life unlocked and ready to roll that's what I did with my car my purse is in this car with <laughs> all kind, all of my identification is in there access to all of my bank accounts is in this purse um, credit cards money everything that's in this person not to mention all the other stuff that I've just tossed in it that I can't replace you know um, notes I have a notebook in there where when the Lord gives me something in the mountain about I have that notebook in it I can't replace that you know I would just be like oh Holy Spirit give it back to me um my car I left this car unlocked with the keys in it that is an easy Grand Theft Auto they didn't get it, even got to work for it they just got to get in it and roll and God is saying, that's what Christians do all the time. You leave your life wide open. All the devil got to do is get in and roll. But then I left the door to my house, not just unlocked, but I left the door open. We do that with our lives. We do that with our relationships. We do that with our finances. We do that on our jobs. We do that with our children. We do that with our spouses. We do that with ourselves. In so many arenas, we just leave the door open. And then when you get into our house, we have sliding glass doors to actually go into the main part of the house. So I left the door to the mudroom open, but then there's another door. I also left that door open. And the Lord, I mean, the way he showed it to me is so quickly. It was so amazing. Not only do we just leave the door open to the general areas of our lives and the things outside of us, you know, like our work, our extended family. Yeah, we leave all those doors unlocked and ready to roll at any given moment. But we also leave the door to our innermost being. The door to our hearts, our minds, our emotions, the things on the inside of us, we leave those doors wide open to the enemy all the time. So my word of encouragement to you guys today, my little bit of strength to help you make it to through this day would be stop leaving those doors open. We have to shut the doors. There are certain doors that not just shut them, they need to be shut and locked. And we have to stop allowing access from the enemy into us and into the things that pertain to us, into the things that matter to us, to the people that matter to us. We can no longer just allow free access to us. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. I pray that the Lord may bless you richly. And until next time, smooches.